New charges and new information in the case of a woman found dead in the back of a pickup truck in Roseville. This happened last month. Stephen Freeman had previously been charged with concealing a person's death and receiving and concealing stolen property. The charges added today by the Macomb County prosecutor, much more serious than that. Jacqueline Francis is live in Roseville for us tonight. And Jacqueline, uh, we're talking about a murder charge, and that comes with a more detailed version of events from investigators. It does. Police say 19 year old Stephen Freeman broke into the victim's house last month when she wasn't there. We're told when she got home, the two got into a fight and she was killed. 62 year old Gabrielle Seitz's murder shocked and puzzled the community. Her dead body was found in the back of a pickup truck near Hayes and Common in Roseville last month. The truck had just been in a crash, the driver taking off on foot. The alleged driver, 19-year-old Stephen Freeman, was initially charged with concealing a body, but is now charged with murder. Prosecutor Pete Lucido says forensic evidence ties Freeman to the crime scene. There's fingerprints that were found in the residence of the dwelling of where the deceased, um, you know, lived. So based on some other technical evidence that's coming back, such as DNA, there's enough to make the felony murder. Police say Freeman broke into the victim's house when she wasn't there. When she arrived home, they say the two got into a fight and she was killed. There's also some cameras that were stationed outside the home where you pick up uh, the information as well as the identity of the individual taking the body out of the home. When asked about motive or if the two knew one another, the prosecutor answered. But he's asked that question. If I had that crystal ball, I'd give you the answer. But it's unfortunate that I don't know whether or not there was any relationship. Was this at random? The victim was found with a shoelace around her neck, and while the suspected cause of death is strangulation, officials are still waiting for the official report from the medical examiner. Reporting live in Roseville, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Yeah, okay, Jacqueline, thanks.